Hello, my name is Nathan Younger, and today I want to help you sign up for your Skills USA. I want to help you register your students, and I also want to help you sign up if you need to sign up as an advisor. I also want to help you get your kids signed up to compete. So first things first, um, let's go ahead and go to skillsusa.org. So that's where you want to go ahead and sign into. So again, skillsusa.org. You're going to come up to where it says register and log in. So if you don't already have an account, make one. But I already have one. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here and I'll show you. All right. So if I want to add students, first off, I need to make myself. I need to sign up myself. So if you click on membership, you can click on new program and you can sign yourself up. You do not have to do this for every single thing that you compete in. You only have to do it for one chapter. So you do put down what you are teaching. So I teach uh, digital arts, video game design, animation, uh, t-shirt design, pin design, all the different things. But I sign up for 3D animation because that's my main background and majority of classes I teach. So you click on new program, you sign up with your name, register. Once you've got that information, you can come back to this menu, the membership menu, and you guys can go to access member enroll pay. So when you click that button, it brings up your activation code and it also um, gives you the link right here to give your students. So right here where it says skillsusa. Um, sorry, dash registered.org uh, slash join, you can copy and paste that and give it to your kids to log in. Or there's this really cool student QR code that you can click on. So you click on this, it'll make a really cool QR code. My server's not working, but it pops up a QR code that you can have the kids scan in and register with your number. But if that doesn't work, you give them this link and this is your code. So like, for example, if you use Google Classroom or Canvas, you guys can put the skillsusaregister.org link in there and then put the um, R9816 code, which is my code, but you'd put in whatever code that yours generates. So let me show you how this works. So you give this link to the kids. They come in here. They put in Washington. Or again, if you're watching us from another place and you're using it, and then they put in their code. So if they put in your code and they go validate, they should find it. See, found me, Heritage High School, 3D animation, blah, blah, blah. So the students put in their name. Now, you'd also do this for your advisors. So your advisors have to be registered to compete, to be there, uh, especially for state and national. So again, you want to put down professional for anybody that's not a student, student if they are. Graduation year doesn't matter as much for adults, obviously, but for students, this matters. Date of birth, they have to put down what their sex is that they go by gender-wise, their home address, uh, their shirt size, demographics, uh, and a little bit more information about their back. So once they've completed all this and they click register, it activates the students. So those students now are active. You can use them to register. So how do you register those kids for a competition? So once you have got all those kids registered, you can go back to your membership. So I'm going to go back to membership. So as you guys can see right here, you, you can see how many people have. I can click on my members. you got to make sure they join. So you have to register them. If you don't register them this way, so you have to select all the ones that are for sure going to compete and they're for sure going to be part of this because it's going to create an invoice that you'll have to do. So if I click on the student that wants to join, or a, an advisor, and then you have your um, email to your secretary, or if you're taking care of all the bills yourself, or your booster, or your ASB. Again, you can, if they have a check number or credit card, you can do that. I usually do zero for a purchase order, and then have them send the purchase order. But once you press join, it will activate that and send it to them. So once you've done that, to register for the actual competitions for regionals, or state, or nationals, you come up to where it says conference. So instead of going to membership, you're going to go to conference to sign up for their competitions. So you go to my registrations. You click on event and you should be able to find your events. So again, there's a regional competition. There is the national one and there's a state. So we're competing at regionals right now. So I click on regionals. I come down to where it says add registrant. I click on that. And it takes me to the new menu where I can find one of my students right here. So select student members. I can select whatever student that wants to compete. And then I click what kind of contest they want to compete in. 
Once I've done that, it does another menu where you have some more information for the students, but you just press save and continue and it'll generate another invoice and get those kids registered. So again, make sure that you guys do this. It's a two step process. You have the kids, you have the students register under membership. And again, if you need to get that for yourself, you can click on membership, access member enroll pay. That's your code. And you can give them this link right here. Or again, you can give them a QR code, but either way they go there, they type in that code and then they register. That's part one. Again, part two is to activate their membership. So again, you have to make sure you go to membership and you activate it. So let me show that one more time. You wanna make sure you click on details. You wanna make sure you join them. Once you join that, that will put them in the system to register them. Now you can go to conference, by registration, drop down, you go to add registrant. Again, you come down to the member and it'll find all the students that you have registered. You still have to do all your hosts that are going too. So if you have hosts that are going to represent with the students, it's not as big for regionals because it's usually local to your area. But again, if you're traveling, you still want to put those in. If you're um, competing in a, region, a state or nationals, you definitely need to put your hosts that are going in there too. So that is what we're doing. I hope this helps. Please reach out if you have any other questions. Thanks again.